एंड नाउ लेट एस मूव अराउंड विथ द स्वाध्याय एज यू नो वी आर इन वीक नाइन the pen- penultimate week before the conclusion culmination of the first leg of freedom the first chapter of the yoga sutras will be completing next week and this is the penultimate week and we have looked at sutras 42 46 we shall chant them two times and then look at the meaning of the sutra 46 let us begin tatra shabdarth jnana vikalpaihi sankirna savitarka samapatti smruti parishuddhau swarup shunye vartha matra nirbhasa nirvitarka etayeva savichara nirvichara च सूक्ष्म विषया व्याख्याता सूक्ष्म विषयत्वं चालिंग पर्यवसानं ता एव सभी जहा समाधि तत्र शब्द अर्थ ज्ञान विकल्पैः संकीर्णा सवितर्का समापत्ति स्मृति परिशुद्ध स्वरूप शून्य इव अर्थ मात्र निर्भासा निर्वितर्का एत एतया एव सविचारा निर्विचारा च सूक्ष्म विषया व्याख्याता सूक्ष्म विषयत्वं च अलिंग पर्यवसानं ता एव सबीज समाधि ओ फॉर अ मोमेंट कीप योर आईज क्लोज एंड एसिमुलेट द चैंटिंग व्हिच वी हैव डन जस्ट नाउ वी हैव डन श्रवण लिसनिंग नाउ वी विल proceed so that we get food for thought to ponder manan and then nidityasa gently open your eyes as we proceed to the meaning of sutra 46 sutra 46 बीज सामधि आट विच हेज बीन मेन्शन अबव दोज और दीज डिपेंडिंग ऑन युअर वे ऑफ लुकिंग एट इट एव अलोन ओनली स बीज विथ द सीड समाधि सो this sutra means these those which have been mentioned above alone are the stages of sabija samadhi see now he has actually brought us into the degrees the dis- what samadhi means in the last few sutras he has been speaking about samadhi the types of samadhi the stages etc 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 and today he speaks of the stages of sar bija samadhi of course in the sunday ses- session we will be dealing with this in greater detail but just to understand sar bija bija means the seed the substratum from which everything comes out and you need to have some form inside to generate the manifestation that form sorry that form is known as the beej so when you close your eyes and become aware of a form that is the form 
and that form takes us deeper and deeper and deeper higher and higher and higher in stages and when that form to whatever degree it exists that is sabij and everything what has been spoken till now is a part of the sabij there will also be something beyond which he will speak later this goes to tell us that the mind has got multiple capabilities and we have not even scratched the surface of the capabilities of the mind and we need to work on it step by step it is not that we can reach the pinnacle in a day as they say rome was not built in a day but it was built brick by brick stone by stone slowly and slowly shanaihi shanaihi step by step and so if my mind is very fickle if my mind is jumping like a monkey from one tree to another if my mind is completely extroverted there is no need to feel upset about it we just know where we are and how we have to progress what we have to do the entire path has been explained by maharshi in this first chapter the samadhi path and i would like you to try and relate to it and in the next week which is the concluding week i would like to hear from you what are your reflections about the same there is nothing right there is nothing wrong everything is relative what is it which i perceive it to be and when i perceive it something then i will think over it i will dwell over it i will try to ponder over it and then more insights come in and as insights come in our understanding our behavior our approach outside starts changing and as the approach outside start changing the interaction with others start changing there is a change which is seen and this interaction fuels the thinking understanding insights within this way combining internal and external we are able to proceed progress in life our ancestors did not speak of just going within no the ishavasya upanishad very clearly states that those who go only outside they descend into hell and those who go only inside introversion they go into a deeper hell so it appears that you are caught between the devil and the deep sea but no there is a third way when you have the balance between both then you rise you can also understand this as if you try to fly with one wing you will fall if you try to fly with the other wing again you will fall but if you use both the wings in synchronicity together then you can soar high that is what we need to do knowledge action introversion extroversion balance synchronicity between the two what is yoga but balance and harmony imagine if you are flapping this wing at 10 miles an hour and you flap this at 20 miles an hour what is going to happen there is going to be imbalance and you can't fly. there has to be synchronicity then you can fly so that is what we need to develop managing the internal and external both for which we need to dwell upon think what is happening what does it mean what is the basics that is what yoga is that is what knowledge is that is what vedanta is that is what progress is that is what our ancestors discovered to be the ultimate in life so let us 
walk and follow this path. Let that be the thought which we should carry with ourselves. Hari Om Tat Sat, Ramana Rai, Jai Ram.